So today, I decided to make a video talking about the elephant in the room, how shitty this generation of players are, specifically on Modern Warfare 2, but on all shooter games, really. Right now, in 2023, I gotta say, this player base is the worst I have ever seen on this game, and on many other games. Just how these people play on a game makes me want to hurl. Battle Royale games have flat out ruined first person shooters, along with try hard no lifes that use YouTube videos to find out what the best guns and setups are on a game to preserve their precious garbage stats instead of just trying things out for themselves. How people play on shooter games today is nothing compared to how things were 10 years ago. There's more camping than ever before because of Battle Royale games. Battle Royale games just created this fixation that staying alive by camping is the only way to play shooters now. You don't see too many people running around in Call of Duty anymore. Running around and moving to get your kills is the only thing that should be considered as skillful in Call of Duty. Anybody that tells you anything different, they don't know what the fuck they are talking about. Camping, camping with one man army, claymores, C4, and the amount of people noob tubing on Modern Warfare 2 is at an all time high. Sure, all of that happened before VR games back in the day, but unless you were trying to play MW2 right now, I don't think you could fully understand exactly how bad things are now on that game unless you were to go check it out for yourself. I mean, it's one thing to hear me talk about it. It's completely different experiencing it for yourself in-game with this generation of trash cans. Here's another thing I have to bitch about real quick. A couple weeks ago, I see a guy doing a group post on MW2 on Xbox. He wants to do a private match with ARs only. I say, what the hell? That fits my play style. I can't make it into a lobby that day anyways because I can't join off of anybody to actually make it into a match at the time. Let's do it to pass some time. The guy sends me an invite after I hit him up. The second that he starts talking, I can tell he's nothing more but a sweat bag virgin. I can tell instantly from the sound of his squeaky 18 year old virgin voice. I knew the second that he started talking, I knew exactly what he was going to do. I said to myself, this kid is literally going to use nothing but the Scar H, the most overpowered, non-skilled AR in the history of Call of Duty games. And he's going to camp with that shit 24-7 in this 1v1 on Rust. That's what I said in my mind before I even said one word to him. And I called it. What does this punk do? He not only uses nothing but the Scar H. He not only can't. He not only was sweating his tiny microscopic balls off the entire match to try and beat me, but on top of that, he puts the radar on. He went on top on Rust, and if you know anything about this game, anything about this map, in a 1v1 situation, you don't do either of those things. But he not only did that, but he pre-fired around every corner. He camped with a scar. He tells me, no grenades are allowed. Not even the Semtex, because that takes no skill at all to throw a grenade. I stayed in the match until it was over, when nobody else would have stayed. I finished the match, he tells me, okay, it's your time to host now. As soon as he said that, he got blocked. I don't have time for that. Anyways, the point is... That type of player is nothing more but a clown. And this is the vast majority of the community of shooter players now. Players like that, they think it, it, it takes skill to use nothing but the most overpowered guns on a shooter game and spam that shit over and over. And doing some stupid shit like putting the radar on on a 13 year old game like wow bro. The game has been out for 13 years, you really need help knowing where the spawns are? on the world's second smallest Call of Duty map in the history of the franchise? But oh, throwing a Semtex grenade, that doesn't take any skill at all, he says. And it's the same thing with the cheaters. I can't tell you how many modded lobbies I've been in 
on MW2 in the past six months where some UK fucker is host of a lobby. He's using a red box to know where people are at through walls 24-7. And because it's a modded lobby, he made it to where the stun grenades don't do anything. They don't stun people. They don't do shit. It might as well be a firecracker. And all the grenades do half damage, or you don't even get one. You don't get a grenade because he made the lobby that way. It's so fucking hard just to find a lobby on the greatest game of all time. Sometimes you literally cannot make it into another lobby on here. So you have no choice but to put up with the bullshit, or you just can't play the game some days. I mean, even last night, another example. I can't find or join any other lobby but a ground war lobby on MW2. I expected the worst going into it. There was three cheaters in this lobby. I could tell the host was cheating. He got a couple of his friends in there playing with him. Quick scoping cheaters on MW2. Nothing new there. That's been going on for over a decade. Anyways, I get two AC-130 killstreaks going. Going up against these bombs, I go with 65 and 5 after I get nothing but triples, 4-piece, 5-piece, small tees going with the AC-130s. And there's still time left in the game. Had I finished it, I would have had 80 to 85 kills in that one game. But oh, guess what? Black screen all of a sudden. And my game froze while I'm using the second AC-130 that I got. I send the host a message, and of course that pussy ain't gonna own up to it. He says he wasn't the host, but that dumbass forgets that we can see who's host at the start of the game when everybody loads in, and he's the only fucker in the lobby that's four-barring. Because why? Because he's from where? Go figure, the United Kingdom. Even on MW3, I went and played a few games of that around New Year's and Christmas time. It was the same shit, but worse. I literally, out of 20 or so different lobbies I tried joining, I never even connected to one US-based host. It was laggy, it was filled with campers, and people afraid to move, and guess what? People that are invisible. More cheaters. It's all one big joke, man. This generation of players, it doesn't matter what game it is, it's all one big joke. Console gaming, has already gotten steadily worse over time because the games suck now. But with these bullshit people, the people that camp hard, use the cheapest shit on the game 24-7 in terms of the, the sweatiest guns, cheat and use strike packs, Cronus Max, modded rapid fire controllers, mouse and keyboard on console, mod menus, RGH consoles, stack teams 24-7 like some gay fuckers on Battlefield. And they all deny that shit as if None of that exists on Xbox. None of that happens, right? There's no cheaters on Xbox. Nobody uses a strike pack. Nobody stacks teams. Like, yeah, okay, buddy. You keep telling yourself that and go jump off the nearest bridge. That's what I got to say about that. You just keep closing your eyes and pretending nobody's doing any of that. Even on a game like PUBG. Do you have any idea how many cheaters there are on Xbox PUBG? I can't even imagine how bad it is now. I quit playing the game almost a year ago, I think, maybe eight months ago, and I really can't even imagine how many strike pack users there are just on the Xbox version of that game. How many mouse and keyboard bitches there are on Battlefield. On Star Wars Battlefront, how many Cronus users are there now? I actually went back and, and tried playing that game about a month ago, and go figure. Stack teams filled with cheaters while I got a bunch of little kids on my team. And while I'm literally trying to teach somebody how to play the fucking game, I'm still leading the lobby. It's just pathetic how, how players play now, man. If it wasn't for cheats, stack teams, and a bunch of cheat BS being spammed 24-7, these people would get absolutely destroyed every single time. Every single time against a player like me. Even then with all that bullshit. Who's still leading the lobby? A legitimate player that 
doesn't even need to spend a fucking dime on any of that bullshit like that. Because guess what? I'm still whooping your ass. And lastly, before I forget, look at GTA, for instance. I know that's not an FPS game, but I have to mention it. With modding, it was bad on the 360 years ago, but at least motherfuckers were cool about it and teleported you across the map to give you a free money drop back then on the 360. Now it's all about having a modded Xbox One account, having a 1 million KDR on the stat page, being fully invisible and off the map radar permanently on GTA. Anyways, that's about it for the rant for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.